Five seconds to go. Start. Madam Chairman, the amendments that have been brought here in this bill are mostly innocent in nature and necessary. Some of them are not at all important, but there are few clauses which I would like to highlight here. I would request the Honorable Minister to reconsider whether these can be reframed in such a manner that certain controversies which may occur in future are not there. There should be no chance of such a controversy in the bill. I would request the minister to consider in that light. Coming to clause 5 of the bill, it has been suggested that the central government may also appoint public prosecutor or additional public prosecutor. When the state government is there, to appoint public prosecutor or additional public prosecutor either in high court or in district court, I think the central government not have taken that power also to appoint public prosecutor or additional prosecutor at the district level or even in the high court. They could appoint them through the state machinery only if there are two sets of public prosecutors in a particular court, one for the central government and the other for the state government holding to different views, then there will be some confusion. In certain cases where the central government may require the help of certain public prosecutor, that appointment should go through the state machinery they may require the help of certain public prosecutors that have been appointed by the state government itself if it comes to directly appointing any public prosecutor for any court then in that case the jurisdiction of a particular court may arise and certain other confusion may also arise there. So, to avoid that short of misunderstanding or holding of different views by different sets of public prosecutors, I think appointment of any public prosecutor should be by the state alone and not directly by the central government. You will also find in sub clause 5 of clause 8 that the public prosecutors in district levels should be appointed from the panel that is to be prepared by the district magistrate. In the case of state government, the public prosecutors should be appointed from amongst those in the panel and not from those whose names do not appear in the panel prepared by the authorities. 
in accordance with the procedure laid down by the state government in case of central government there is no such obligation like the state government for appointment of public prosecutor from the panel the central government may appoint anybody from outside or inside the panel in that case i would request the minister to consider that the standard is maintained otherwise arbitrations will arise and unnecessarily the advocates will try to earn the favor of certain officers even though the name is not in the panel they will get the appointment of that person as a public prosecutor in the district level so the obligation should not be there in the case of central government also to appoint the public prosecutor from amongst the names appearing in the panel and not from those outside the panel then i come to the provision regarding extension of the detention period of the under trial prisoner from 60 days to 90 days this limit of 60 days of detention of the under trial prisoner has been brought in only after strenuous struggle and fight in the last lok sabha the government was not initially willing to accept this limitation of the detention period of the under trial prisoner many honorable members fought for this and then only the government came forward and agreed that there should be a certain limit of 60 days for the detention of the under trial prisoner now what is happening in this bill the police officers never care for completing the investigation within a certain specified period they go on getting extension of time for the detention of the accused in the court the under trial prisoner does not know when and in which way actually his case will be dealt with whether it will be adjudicated or how the case will be finalized all that is not certain and the police officers i said do not care to complete the investigation within a specified period that is why in the last lok sabha views were expressed that police officers should be called upon to complete the investigation within a particular and specified period if you go on allowing them unlimited time then in that case police officers will not exhibit responsibility and they will not behave in such a way as to fulfill their own obligations and they will discharge 
their own responsibilities. That way, this will again give them a handle. So, though I agree that in certain cases like murder or decoity or some such offenses where life imprisonment is prescribed where this may be required in respect of other members other matters the cases should be completed within 60 days duration stop 